Okay, it's time to do the second half of lab 3.06, where we're going to talk about sexual and asexual reproduction. We're going to play a game with lizards, and lizards have this unique feature that um, female lizards, some female lizards in the Sonoran Desert, called whiptail lizards, can reproduce asexually. They just copy themselves, and that's it. Um, they don't need to find a male and do sexual reproduction. They also have the option of doing sexual reproduction. So we're going to look at the energy inputs in doing asexual reproduction, sexual reproduction for both males and females. And we're going to see that there's probably some pretty big differences. Um, the energy inputs we're going to look at are crickets. These lizards are going to eat crickets. They require energy for um, different things. We all require energy for staying alive. We need energy to breathe, we need energy for our heart to beat and our eyes to blink. That's called basal metabolic rate. We need um, energy for producing waste, digestion, and for shedding. We shed our skin, we don't shed our whole skin at once like a lizard does or a snake, but we're always shedding skin cells. That's what the most of the dust in your house is. It's about 90% of your skin cells. And activity, we run around, um, or if the lizards, in this case, they run around looking for crickets, that requires energy too. Any leftover energy they have is for growth, getting bigger, or maybe um, storing some fat, or for reproduction. So let's go play this lizard game and see how things go. So we're gonna use, look at what kind of energy gets used to do different tasks. We're going to quickly show, look at how to play. So just to go over briefly, the introduction of the game talks about what you need for energy. You have breakfast every morning, so you can do the things that you need to do. Study for school, maybe wink at the cute girl next to you um, if you go to brick and mortar school, or um, run around and help take care of your brothers and sisters. Thermodynamics, that's how energy gets used, has two basic rules. One, energy can't be created or destroyed. It just changes forms. So even though you feel drained at the end of the day and like you have no energy, you've used the energy you had for breakfast in the form of food, and it's changed form from chemical energy into mechanical energy, you moving around, and maybe that mechanical energy has been changed into heat energy. And though the energy has left your body, it's still out there in the universe. It's just changed forms. It hasn't disappeared. And as you know, in cleaning your room, a system will trend toward more disorder unless it receives energy to keep it orderly. Unless you work to keep something clean and tidy, it's going to get messy and crazy. And that's the same thing with organisms. If we don't have enough energy, our bodies kind of uh, get run down. And if we don't take care of ourselves and kind of give our, give energy to, um, resting and time to, uh, reconstruct some of the things that may have gone wrong, like we do every night when we go to sleep, we can serve energy for repair. So here are those energy inputs we talked about, the required energy outputs, and the leftover energy. So here's how to play. Stay alive, reproduce before the breeding season ends, and for sexual females only, select the best mate. I'll show you how it works. So asexual females, life's pretty easy. They don't have to find a mate. They don't have to impress everyone. They just have to find some crickets, have enough energy to mate, life is good. So they're gonna go, she's gonna go eat a cricket. We'll go over here, eat some crickets. When she has enough crickets, she can produce enough eggs. When you've eat enough, eaten enough crickets, she has enough energy. And now she can reproduce. Done. In 33 seconds, total of seven crickets. Um, we used about 310 calories to reproduce. Total calories, 412. We'll compare 
the asexual female with the sexual female and the sexual male. Let's go be a sexual female lizard where we have to find a partner and that's going to be a little bit more complicated. You can see the guys are trying to line up and show off. So she's going to still need to eat crickets and produce eggs, but this time she's also going to have to find a partner and reproduce with that partner. So it might take a little bit longer to be successful at this game. We'll produce some eggs here because we had enough calories. It won't light up until you have enough calories. See, I can't uh, reproduce yet because I don't have enough extra calories. Remember we talked about you need enough calories just to kind of run around, do your daily thing. And you can't reproduce until you have enough extra calories. Let's go check out one of these guys here. All right, she thinks he's good enough. Done. So we needed to eat 11 crickets this time. Um, it took a little bit more energy because we had to find a guy and pick out a guy that was, you know, we thought was okay, had good genes. And we had a bunch of leftover calories even. So let's go be a male. Males have it a little bit harder because they have to impress a female. So they're going to burn a few more calories and probably need to eat a few more crickets. You can see that they have some more jobs to do. They have to produce sperm. They're going to have to end up doing a bunch of push-ups, a bunch of territorial displays to scare off the other males, and they still have to reproduce with the female. So. Don't have to do any push-ups yet. You don't want to waste energy. There's no females around, nobody to impress, or nobody to, to um, territorially threaten. Notice that the female gets bored, she just like reads her book. So if you want to go impress her, go do some push-ups. produce some sperm so when we're ready. Let's go over to this guy. Oop, let's do a territorial display and scare off the other guys. Let's do a couple more push-ups and a territorial display. Maybe a couple more push-ups. Maybe a couple more push-ups. Maybe better do a territorial display and scare the other guy off. Oh, I'm burning more calories than I have. Oops. Am I going to make it? Come down and do some push-ups and see if we can impress her. Get those guys out of the way. All right, let's go. Let's go over to the female and do some more push-ups and see if we can get her to like us. Oh, I might die before mating season. Let's go over and do some push-ups. It's hard being a male. 
Well, I've already done this and been successful. So you can see how hard it is. You got to run around. You've got lots of other energy costs. Um, so you're welcome to play this game yourself. I'll put the URL in the um, box on the YouTube. Um, let's look at our results overall here. The asexual female ate eight crickets. She used about 310 calories to reproduce and she had eight left over, but that all happened just in 40 seconds. So it's pretty easy if you're an asexual female. Here, sexual female took about the same time, ate 11 crickets. This is Mrs. Strombeck and I playing e against each other. Um, they use the asexual, the sexual female used a little bit more energy here. She used about 350 calories because she had to find a mate and reproduce. Um, but still had 39 calories left over. Total calories wasn't much different. 462 versus 581. When we go to the male here, you can see there's more calories. Um, the male here used 947 calories because then it needed to do more territorial displays and more push-ups. This guy must have not been quite as impressive as the other guy. So here are the total costs for reproduction put together in one table. You can see that the asexual female used 310 calories. The sexual female used a little bit more, but the guy had to go all out and do all those push-ups and territorial displays and needed a bunch more energy. You can see the guy ate 20 crickets versus the females ate eight and 11. So being a guy lizard and trying to sexually re reproduce, which is your only choice if you're a guy, um, is a pretty tough, um, tough option. And sexual reproduction in general um, uses more calories. It's more complicated. You go to do meiosis. You got to get eggs and sperm. Um, that's extra work for your body. Then you have to find a partner. That can be really a lot of extra work if you're a guy and have to impress the females. Um, as we can see here with our um, males who sexually reproducing. So sexual reproduction can be complicated, but it's great because you get unique individuals. Finding a uh, two individuals who have different sex cells and getting them to come together gets two different ge genetics from two different organisms together and makes unique organisms that might be better adapted for the environment. So it's a good strategy overall, but it does take more calories. So let's recap a few things here um, at the end of this lab. Mitosis and meiosis are different. Meiosis makes sex cells, eggs and sperm, and it takes a little bit more work to do meiosis because it's a little bit more complicated. It has more stages. And it's only used for reproduction. So ladies, you will never do meiosis again. You did it all before you were born because you were born with your eggs. All your eggs are your eggs and you never will make any more. So take good care of them. Guys, you make more sperm um, and you do meiosis to do that. Mitosis makes body cells on the other hand. Um, or once you've got the egg and sperm combined and you've got that one cell that's an embryo, you make more embryo by doing mitosis. Or you make more nose cells or more skin cells or more finger cells or more ear cells on a daily basis because you need to replace them. Let's look at sexual reproduction versus asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction uses more energy, but the offspring are genetically unique. So there's a payoff. You use more energy. You have to go through all the bother of finding a mate and making eggs and sperm and going through meiosis, but you get genetically unique offspring. Asexual reproduction like bacteria use, or one kind of lizard, uses less energy, but it produces an offspring exactly like the parents. And if you're not well adapted to the environment, 
your offspring aren't going to be 